Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to create a REST endpoint to save the record inside the MongoDB database. So let's begin. Let me close this main class and inside the to-do controller, I'm going to create a post mapping. So let me minimize this. So first of all, I'm going to create some white space. Okay, so now let's go ahead and create a method public. This is going to return a response entity. And I'm going to call this create to do. And this is going to receive a parameter which is a at request body to do DTO. And I'm going to annotate this with a add post mapping annotation. And I'm going to specify the URL which is a slash to do's. And these two is diff this to do's is different and this to do's is different. This is a get mapping and this is a post mapping. So don't get confused. So let me import the add post mapping as well. And inside this, I'm going to write a try catch block. So inside the try, I'm going to make use of the to do because we need to set the at created, sorry, the created at uh, timestamp. So we're going to use that to do dot set created at and we're going to use the date constructor and to this date constructor, we're going to pass the system dot current milliseconds. Let me import the date from the util package. Right. And next we are going to make use of the to do repository to save the to do object to do repo dot save. And we're going to save the to do object. And then we are going to return new response entity. To do DTO and we're going to return the to do the newly created to do and we're going to specify the HTTP status to OK and if something goes wrong we are going to return new response entity with a status code of 500 get message and we're going to pass the HTTP status to internal server error. All right, so let's save this. So now we have created a post mapping to create the to do. So let's go ahead and test our work. So the application is running in the port 8080. Now let's go to the postman. And this time I'm going to create a new request. So this should be of post and localhost colon 8080 slash to do's and I'm going to choose the body and inside this body I'm going to select the raw and instead of text we're going to specify the JSON and inside this we are going to uh, pass the uh, we are going to provide the body so which is to do and I'm going to uh, provide the value by me a coffee and I'm going to add the description buy me a cup of coffee and I'm going to set the completed to false and all right that's it uh, we don't need to specify the created at and updated at because that will automatically uh, add it when we are creating a new document okay so now uh, let's go ahead and click on this send this is going to create a new record in the mongodb database you can see automatically it generates an id and the to do name which is buy me a coffee the description buy me a cup of coffee completed I'll set this to false and created add and updated that should be null so let's go to the robo3t 
and let's refresh the uh, database control R and okay for some reasons it is not refreshing okay now you can see uh, to do manager API so if you expand this you can see a collection to do's and you can click on this view documents and you can see uh, the newly created document which is buy me a coffee okay so let's go ahead and fire a new request one more request so let's go to the postman and this time I'm going to say pay internet bill and this will be like pay Wi-Fi bill and I'll set this to true and click send we should get the response as a newly created to do and if you go to the robo 3t press ctrl r we should expect one more entry which is pay internet bell all right now we have created a rest endpoint for creating a document or creating a to do in the next video we are going to create a rest endpoint to retrieve the single document from the mongodb database that is coming up in the next video i will see you in the next video